Hey guys, this is Podcast 5.5, and we're going to finish up the reactions today, um, looking at the reactions between single and double displacements. And this, these are all going to be aqueous reactions. Okay, so uh, something is going to be dissolved in water, um, some ions are going to be dissolved in water, and there's going to be an ion switch that takes place, and there's going to be a single ion taking a switch, or uh, two ions taking a switch. So single displacement are when a, a lone metal uh, ion replaces another. Okay, sorry about my handwriting, but that says a lone metal ion replaces another. So our example is going to be metal A comes into contact with some kind of compound, and this is going to be a cation, a metal cation. And what we get is a new compound AC plus B. So notice A and B have switched places, all right? So let me mark this. So A is some kind of metal, B is gonna be a cation as part of a reaction, C will be the anion, and A becomes a cation, it ionizes to, to bind or to bond with C and B deionizes, so this is just a metal. And you've already seen this reaction, believe it or not, when we looked at the reaction between aluminum and mixed it with some copper two chloride and we got a reaction or a product of aluminum chloride and some copper, some solid copper. And now again, if you're, if you're noticing, this is not balanced, so we need to balance this out to have a good example. Two, two chlorines going in, one coming out, so we need a two here and then two in front of aluminum. So this is a single displacement reaction where aluminum and copper swap places. A double displacement is the same exact thing, where you have uh, metal or um, ion pairs, uh, they're both switching, oops, switching bonds, if you want to put it that way. So in general, we're going to have um, compound AB in the presence of compound CD, and we're going to get two new compounds, so A and C will switch, and B and D will switch. Uh, so this rearranges itself to be a, D, plus B, C. And this is from podcast, uh, what was it, 5.3, I believe, when we looked at the reaction types. Okay, so if you haven't watched that yet, or, you, or if you've forgotten, you need to go back and look at this. Because you need to use net ionic equations. Okay, net ionic equations to fully describe these displacement reactions. Uh, so an example of a double displacement reaction do this in blue again. Uh, I'm going to do it below. Let's see what I've got written down for this one. Um, if we have um, silver chloride, AgCl, and we react that with some calcium bromide, CaBr2, okay, we get an ion switch where the cation of one will bind with the cation of another. Let me put in the charges there so you can see them. So silver is a plus one, chlorine is a negative one, calcium is plus two, and bromine is negative one. That's why you need two here. So switch your ions, only take what you need. So our new products are gonna be um, silver bromide, but plus one, minus one. So we get AgBr, and then a calcium chloride, plus two, minus one. So we need CaCl2. Um, again, not balanced, so we need to put a 2 here and a 2 here. And again, silver drops the, cal or drops the chlorine, picks up the bromine. Uh, we look at it like that, and then the chlorine and the calcium go together and form two new compounds over here. And so we need to use net ionic equations to look at these because what's happening is that these ionic compounds are ionizing, and those, silver, those free silver ions are then swinging over and picking up the free bromine ions where they are, and they, they perform a switch. Um, and that rounds it out for the equation types or the chemical reaction types. So the single displacement are the fourth kind and double displacement are the fifth. Uh, for reference, check that half sheet, that half reference sheet um, that, that we got at the end of last semester and is posted on the website as well. Um, so you can download a new one if you've lost yours.